Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 ASEAN Business and Investment Summit. I've learned that ASEAN is really all about relationship. Organizations, ASEAN, APEC, they strengthen relationships. And from relationships, then you can move to other things. Because trust is built. And when trust is built, then we can all work together as one big region. The need for development of peoples as human beings, not just economic powerhouses. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Chairman of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. I am pleased to join you today as we open the ASEAN Business and Investment Summit. The pioneer mentors of the ASEAN Mentorship for Entrepreneurs Network. Next year, I would like to make some late changes in the GAC, the annual budget. I would like to pour more money on this medium, small, and micro industry. found out in our meetings with AP that the basic, basic unit of the economy has always been moved by the MSMEs. Welcome the arrival of His Excellency Dmitry Medvedev, the Prime Minister of the Russian Federation. And with ASEAN on the whole, and I hope we will see positive progress here that will ultimately benefit all representatives of business circles from the ASEAN. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of the President of the Republic of Korea, His Excellency Moon Jae-in. I propose that we further develop the current community where we share co-prosperity into community where we share peace and stand by each other in times of crisis. There is a lot that India and the Philippines share in common. We are both pluralistic society and vibrant democracy. We are proud of what ASEAN has achieved in the past 50 years in terms of peace, security, and economic growth. The best is yet to come. This is the age of Asia. Let the dragons and the tigers claim this century and in the process show the world how it is possible for our economies to grow well and spread it equitably. Prosperity for all is the theme of this conference. But prosperity for all should not end today. It should just be the beginning with full energy that we in the business sector, us large corporations, must embrace inclusivity. If all of us can leave a legacy of really blessing others to be one day in the same room with us, speaking in front of leaders like you, successful entrepreneurs, that to be is the ultimate blessing we all can receive. Again, thank you very much.